how's it going guys first I promised one of my subscribers so I give him a shout out his name is Equinox Equalizer he is a small youtuber looking to gain ahead so if you guys want to check out his channel link in the description below but let's get into it so I've learned that in Black Ops 3 you can take an already beast weapon and turn it into a godlike weapon first let me say that I've watched a youtuber by the name of the killer cron his link in the description as well he put these attachments on the VMP which I thought was crazy grip extended mags rapid fire and long barrel not because of anything else besides the rapid fire because my very first thought was how are you going to put rapid fire on an already high fire rate gun so needless to say i was really skeptical at first but then i watched a little bit more of the video and seen how incredibly fast he was killing these guys i don't really want to start knocking things until i tried them so i went ahead and put on the attachments anyway and guess what guys no doubt it was an absolutely unstoppable weapon so I definitely was curious to see what rapid fire would do with the other high fire rate weapons like the Vesper and the Weevil. I went ahead and threw on some rapid fire and it was the same thing, same result. The only problem was being seen on the mini map when I fired. So I then thought to myself, what if I took off the long barrel and put on a suppressor? I did notice it took about a millisecond or two longer to kill, but worth it if you're trying to sneak up on your enemies and still want to win gunfights. Winning gunfights is key guys. When I say win gunfights, I mean you will win gunfights if you use this. Every time I played 10 games in a row as a matter of fact, I gained all my score streaks and sometimes twice in one game. It's because you're going to consistently win gunfights. Guns matter more than skill in Black Ops 3 in my opinion, so you have to accommodate on the gun choice and what attachments you throw on them. For instance, take grip off these guns, it will look like you're having a seizure attack when you aim down the sights. So that is something you don't want and want to take in consideration. For those who haven't yet, watch my video on how to control recoil on my channel to learn more about how to battle the effects of recoil. Your gun will still bounce a little bit more sometimes, and when I say sometimes, it seems sometimes it shakes and you have to accommodate by using the analog stick to control, and sometimes it seems like it shoots so fast, it actually stays straight. I'm not using any cheats like those controllers, I just use the same lame factory controller because I just don't believe that you need rapid fire controller, drop shot controller, or even a scuff controller to play Call of Duty or any multiplayer shooter game for that matter. Just picking the right weapon and attachments is enough in my opinion, especially on Black Ops 3. Lastly, I just want to thank anyone who watches my videos. Though some consider 190 plus subscribers small, it still is an incredible feat as well as the likes I get on my videos. I also appreciate the comments whether they are compliments or criticism. I will take them either way. Compliments give me the confidence, criticism gives me an idea on what to modify my videos, as long as they're appropriate comments. But okay, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and if you did, slap that like button in the ass, and sub a dub to see more Black Ops 3 videos. I'll see you later.